Hey guys, Nikita here and quick tutorial how you can create this shape here like you use it like on the hairdryer on the, on the front and yeah it's like some nice lofting and surfacing techniques so, so let's just start. Before we begin a little announcement I am creating a new plasticity course and I need your opinion if you would like to see how we can create this shape here and yeah I've created that already and I also rendered that in Octane and the course will be available for you guys who only want to use like plasticity and those who want to uh, learn how to render it in Octane you can just buy like a little kind of an add-on where it's just like the Octane rendering part and all that stuff and the materials and the second option are those in-ear headphones and yeah this is like the model I've created again plasticity and for those who want there will be like a separate Octane materials texturing course and yeah, so which one do you like more? I think like personally this one is much cooler because yeah, it's like much uh, more complex geometry and like a lot of lofting and surfacing techniques. This one is a bit simple, but also very cool. So let me know which one you would like to see. Option A, this fire extinguisher or yeah, option B like this in your headphones. Okay, so let's start with the shape by creating like a new file. We will delete this cube. And first of all, we will just go to the front view and just, yeah, we will create like this uh, first, like bigger body and just with a revolve, very easy. So I just press shift F or you can go here to this, uh, to this control point curve. I just like it more. And yeah, just create, yeah, a shape, something like that. And maybe take this point and yeah, so that's pretty it. And now we just select this, uh, this edge here and we go here to revolve and we go here to the origin, to the center and just uh, drag it outwards. So exactly, we have something like that. And now we go to the left view and now we will create with the um, center rectangle like this other piece that will merge it. And yeah, just um, here to the center and press tab if it's not pressed so we will create something like that. So it's just like going a little bit outwards, right click to confirm and select the edge and just press B to give it like a nice little uh, bevel. Perfect, so now we go again to the front view, press G and just bring this a little bit outwards. And now what we have to do, we have to again create like a loft of that uh, left shape and then um, yeah, join that everything together. So for that, mm, because we have to snap everything to like one um, yeah, direction uh, kind of. I just create like a new line that I will snap like the curves to. Um, so they are just meeting at all at the same like um, z, uh, z axis. So yeah, you will see what I mean. So again, I press shift F for um, yeah this uh, curve and I snap it here to the middle and I go while snapped to the front view. And now I will just create, yeah, like a shape like that. Maybe take this point and bring it here. So we just have like a nice uh, curvature also. Yeah, okay, you don't see it here, but you will see it in a second, uh, like on the left piece. So right click to confirm. And now I will just take this curve here and press Alt X and press Z. So it's just mirroring uh, to the uh, to the bottom. Right click to confirm. And now we have to do the same here on the left side. So again, shift F or control point curve, snap it to the middle, go this time to the top view. And so here, this point, we have to snap it. So this one here. So we will just create like one point here. And now we have to snap it yeah, somewhere here, but we need like a helping construction line. So I just go to this point here, if you remember, in the top view. And just snap it to it and just press shift. And you see you get like this construction line or helping line, supporting line, I don't know. And you can snap just like this curve, right click, perfect. So you see all of those are on the same construction plane kind of. And I will just hide this edge here, select this one and again Alt X and press Y this time. So we have like this kind of yeah cage. And now I select this main body, press H. I don't want to see it in a second and I don't also need this curve here and I go this time to the right view and press one so I see 
where those points are ending. So right click and again I will just create like a center rectangle and just go so it's like kind of meeting where the points are. Right click make with B a little bevel and now we go to the front view press G so we can move it and with control click we just bring it like here. So you see, you might think, okay, they are meeting everywhere, but if you zoom in like a lot, you see there's um, a little distance, but we have to, with pressing one with point mode, we have to take this point and with control click, snap it to the curve to the middle. So lofting will work. The same for this point, control click, middle. And let's see here on the left, you see again, little um, distance, control click, snap it to the curve and the same for the last point, snap it here to the middle, perfect. And now we can just loft it. So we will loft from this curve to this curve with shift click, select them, press L and you see we get something like that. But because we build it like this cage around it, we can with, so you loft those two curves with L and with shift click, just one by one, select those other curves. But if it's not working guys, then th th those points are not on the curve. So really make sure everything is like connected and shift this curve. And you see we have like this kind of nice cool shape, right click, Alt H to bring like the other body again back. And now I will just uh, deselect all of those curves because I don't need them. And now we have to close like this gap here. And very easy, just uh, edge mode, select yeah this edge and just drag it in a little bit inwards. And you see it, that looks already pretty cool. So what we can do now, we don't need like those inner parts here. So I will select with object mode. So press four, this with shift, this and press Q. So you get come into this Boolean mode and we have to slice it. So just press shift and Q and right click. And now with the uh, object mode, you can select like this surface here and you see with X, you can delete it and you have it perfectly as you want it. And the same here, we don't need this uh, surface anymore. So press X and now just select both of them, press J. So you have like one body. So now we have to give it a, a thickness, but maybe you would think you have to just do like uh, select the surface here and go here, thicken the sheet. And yeah, you can drag it in and yeah, maybe you see it works, but it's not the option w which we will do because if we go to the front view, you see, yeah, because I don't know, like this goes a little bit like outwards, but and we will get like a problem with fillet. You see, like if we select those two uh, edges, we can't really fill it yet. So we have to do it a little bit different. So we just select this time, like the surface here or the sheet and patch holes along edges. So you see everything is now closed and now we have a solid and now you will see if we select like this face, shift click and this face and this time again, hollow is solid this time and we can drag it in a little bit and you see now on the front view, everything looks like straight and nice. So you will see, first of all, we can give here like a nice juicy, beautiful fillet. And now we just select all of those tiny edges here and we see we can give uh, like a little, yeah, fill it without any problems. We have like this body and yeah, it's just very beautiful. And yeah, it's cool to connect those pieces. And guys, please let me know which course you would like to see if it's option A or option B. And you don't miss any other tutorials, like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.